didn't understood but sounds healthy idea keep growing this is the exact whatsapp message which i got from one of my friends on whatsapp today morning and that is exactly why i'm doing this video so let's dive into that right after this intro So these are the statuses and I'm going to play that for more context so that you understand better. These are my IPs and I will be building them. Ah, so you want to build, extend them. Example, let's suppose you are a dog fan. Okay. You have pets since 20 years. You don't live without your dog and you hold one loyal puppy dog. Okay. In 2023, I tie up with a pet shop, which is just for dog. And I'll say, okay, fine. Every year I'll send you 50,000 worth of products from this pet shop for you. Everybody who holds loyal puppy dog, because that fifty thousand into maybe let's say ten might be five lakh rupees for me, but that would be one point five Ethereum for me. Correct. Minimum. It's so I don't have a roadmap. But there is. I have infinity executions. Now this friend of mine who says didn't understood but sounds healthy idea keep growing. She runs a fitness studio. She is into health and fitness. She is a health and fitness coach. And on top of that, she also has a pet, which is a dog. Okay. Now, because she has a dog, that is exactly why she resonated. So this is what you have to understand. Like when we are going into this NFT world, you have to understand that your tokens, if they are based on intellectual properties, if they are based on some kind of emotional attachment, even if the technology is not understood by people, eventually more and more people will get connected with that. They will want to learn more and more about that. They will want to just see how this works, how they can benefit out of that. And that is exactly how people are going to approach you. It might be from your friend circle. It might be from your outside circle. It might be from a friend of friend who might just have watched your video and then they might just approach that hey do you know this friend of yours who is doing this videos who has this nft collection i would love to buy that nft because he talks about this pet so how can i get that loyal puppy dog i don't care what is nft but i want that 50 000 worth of products you know so this is exactly what you have to do and that is the reason why i'm a firm believer of that statement of gary vinachuk who always says that when you are trying to buy an nft bet on the jockey bet on the person who is driving that nft project because if he or she who is driving the nft project has a long-term vision has a long-term community building focus then definitely the community will be just growing and growing together with that nft project over the next decade because think like this when you buy a mutual fund okay when you buy a mutual fund which is just in the normal investment which everybody understands so if you open up an sip which is systematic investment planning and you start with just let's say 500 rupees per month do you expect instant returns in the first year itself most of the mutual funds in the first year itself like 90% of the things, probably 90% of the mutual funds, they won't give you positive exceptional returns in the first year itself. When you invest in mutual funds, it is bare minimum like invest for 5 years to 10 years to see that exponential compounding effect. Similarly, for projects who are community focused, for NFT projects who are based on IPs, intellectual properties, just like Jor Parivar is. So when I am building Jor Parivar, let me just show you. When I am building Jor Parivar, if tomorrow I have this pillow company, I will be giving all these pillows for free to my Jor Parivar token holders. Something like that. I don't know what I'll do. You know, but this is just a random idea which I got while I'm doing this particular episode. So please, 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 for God's sake, please understand this that. NFT projects are no more JPEGs. NFT projects are way beyond that. Why do you think I'm wearing these T-shirts with all these JPEGs? Why do you think I have this Digital Pratik dot ETH now? Like since past couple of years, I have been just writing Digital Pratik. Now all of a sudden, I never wrote a Digital Pratik dot com. I never wrote Digital Pratik dot something. I wrote Digital Pratik dot ETH because this is in Web three world. This is an ENS domain. So you have to understand, guys. All of this Web3, all of this NFT things are going to be very significant because it's all about community. It's all about smart contracts. The more you understand smart contracts, the more you understand the technology, the more you can just deliver value to your community, the more you will grow as a brand in the next decade. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in till the end of this video. Let me know if you found it valuable or not in the comments below. If you loved it, found it valuable, do give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have still not, haven't and pass this on to somebody else. There are two other videos as well somewhere around this. Do watch them and I'll see you in the next one.